So for the last four months, the end of 2019, Allison and I were doing a lot of opening shows, playing my solo stuff, and uh, it was cool. I'm, I'm basically pretty much used to just headlining with Tokyo. It was nice to go back to the opening slot thing. I'm doing more of that next year with Allison, and then um, hopefully some headlining stuff. But yeah, the, the opening thing is cool because like logistically, it's so much easier. You, you get to the venue later, so you get to sleep in more. Uh, you do your sound check, then you probably play before you even eat dinner. So then you play at like 8.30, and then you can just order dinner or whatever. Um, and uh, once you, like the, the, you get paid obviously a fraction, a tiny fraction of what the headlining band is getting paid, right? Um, but once you put that out of your head, then you're not stressed about like ticket sales or anything like that. It doesn't change for you night by night. Whereas a headliner is kind of like, oh man, we only sold like 30% of the venue before we got there. Oh, everyone came at the last second, amazing. It's like this whole ride. Uh, and you have like, you know, you got crew and you got rentals and all this stuff. And with the opener, you're not thinking about any of that stuff. You're just like, well, oh, just, just here, you know, um, doing your thing. So that was fun. Uh, and then, yeah, you're also like, packed up and ready to go home way earlier. So like lifestyle wise, opening is really sweet. It's just kind of like living on a credit card though because you're, you're like it doesn't make sense logistically. There's no way an opening tour ever is really like, you're not, you're not making money on that. But once you get into it, it's a good time. It's like a sweet vacation. Um, and then yeah, headlining is more like, you know, you're trying to, trying to pay your rent. I think when I'm on stage opening up, I have this sense of like, it's like telling a joke at a party when you, when you know that somebody else is about to tell a story. You're like, oh, I got like, I'm at, I got like uh, a minute to tell this joke. Oh, okay, got to make it work. Whereas headlining, it's like they're there for you. They, you already have their attention. Opening, I feel like I'm like, just play the hits, get it done. Always, like I always end up. Uh, thanking and mentioning the opening band. Oh, that's what you want to do. You want to get them excited for the show. So, uh, And then, yeah, when I'm headlining with Tokyo, I'm like chilling on stage, taking some time. Too much time, actually. The band's always like, let's go, Dave, where I'm telling, I'm like, you know what the funny thing about Cleveland is? I don't know. So, yeah, headlining is a different thing. The opening spot we just did for Said the Whale on this tour, it was for my solo stuff, it was me and Allison, it was amazing because I feel like the, the Said the Whale fans are, they're like into songs and they're into guitars. And when I say songs, I mean like songs about feelings with choruses. Um, yeah, they're, uh, it, it, was the, it was the perfect, perfect crowd to play to. I feel like uh, they were ready for said the whales like loud rock show and alice and i went on with just like our two guitars and no drums and no bass it's a much quieter show but because it was like the same you know genre of music or whatever people were just like listening and into it 